Well, it's raining, but <coughs> we still love what we do. Hey everyone, it's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Today we're in Belleville, New Jersey. We've got kind of an overcast, gloomy day, but we're still excited because we're building a pond today. Right guys? We've got a pretty typical backyard here for Belleville. Actually, it's oversized. They've got a nice big driveway area, which is great for us for staging all the trucks and everything. Back here, we've got a blank canvas. The homeowner wants to do our Tranquility Elite, which is a 10 by 14 pond. We're gonna have a waterfall starting back here with an eight foot stream that feeds into it. This one's getting a custom intake based skimmer, which means we're gonna actually build a skimmer on this end. What I like about these skimmers is the fish can actually swim in and out of them. They hold a lot of debris. It's a really great option if it's in your budget. Now that we know what we're doing, we're gonna spray this out, lay out the footprint, get approval and start digging. It's raining, of course it is. But we're prepared, we've got a rain gear, we've got a little tent. But let me show you, we have made some incredible progress so far in the first two hours. Our pond is completely excavated. We've got our underlayment and liner in. What we're doing now is making some room because on this particular pond, we are gonna have an intake bay as opposed to a skimmer. It's gonna be about a two foot or two and a half foot wide opening that's just gonna draw all the water through and then circle around any floating debris on top, allowing the homeowner to just use a little net and scoop that out. It also allows an area for fish to swim in, kind of hang out, and then they'll have to fight the current to come out. Koi and other goldfish love swimming in current, so that's gonna be a very active spot once this is filled with water and with the fish. Day one on the new 10 by 14 pond has been put on halt just for a little bit. We've got some severe weather coming through the area. So we made an executive decision to call it for the day. A lot of the hard work is already done. We've got the liner and our fabric covering all the soil and the hole. It's actually already starting to fill with rainwater, but we don't want a chance as we're slinging in our rocks into the bottom layer and rocking the pond that the strap is wet and slips off one of these rocks because these things are heavy and we don't want any of our guys near or underneath or close to a rock or the liner getting punctured by a rock that's going to fall so tomorrow is going to be a busy busy day but we are ready we've got all of our materials here so we're just going to start first thing in the morning fire up the machine and rock the heck out of this Okay, so we have just about finished and prepped our intake area. Our pump sits down in the bottom of the vault so the water comes in and then goes down through the blocks into the pump and then back up to the biofalls. You can see here there is a wall of dirt between our intake and the pond. We're gonna rock in both sides, foam it up real good, and what that does is it causes the water to come directly in on the top layer as opposed to coming in all the way through the bottom of the blocks. We have 
made some incredible progress so far on this job. Let me show you what we got. So most of our pond is completely rocked in. We've got to complete the edge work here by tucking in the liner. We've also made a couple of plant pockets, which is gonna be a great area for our aquatic plants to grow along the edge to help soften that and make it look more natural. We've also got a hardy water lily that's going down in the bottom. In addition to, we've got bottom aeration. The far side, you can see we've got the fish cave here. We were gonna build our waterfall directly on top of that, so that's why it's still exposed. Continuing over this way where Anthony's sitting, we're gonna have to work in and just finish this edge here, fold the liner back, and then behind there where the machine is, that's exactly where the stream and waterfall will be. The biofalls will sit approximately right next to Anthony's head. Over here, this is the intake bay. And you can see we've positioned our rocks to kind of channel that water about seven, eight inches wide directly through and into the aqua blocks. Over here, the water will pool about eight inches deep and the pump sits down here and draws the water down through the blocks, through the gravel that will be on top of it and then circulates that back up to the top. Day three, oh, looks like I do have some foam on my fingers, but that means we are going to rock the heck out of this pond. We are working on our waterfall. Boley is in the process. He is shaping and carving out where our ledges are gonna be. It's gonna have three drops. The first out of the bio falls, then down into a small pooling area, a little bit of streaming, and then a second drop, more pooling, and then the final drop into the pond. guys are absolutely gonna love this waterfall and pond. This thing has come out incredible. I don't know how it could have been pulled together any differently or any better without the help of the master Bolivar up there. He is our rock master. We've also got Anthony and Josh who have all been rocking it and kicking butt. But man, this thing is awesome. We still have to button up some edges, put in some plants, rinse this all down and then fill it up. So still a couple things to do, but we are so close to turning this on. Over on this side here, this is the finished intake bay. This is where all that water is gonna be drawn through this little cavern here, drawn into here. There's about eight inches of standing water. Any floating debris will just start to kind of naturally spin around. The customer is just gonna need to use a little, little skimmer net, scoop that stuff out, and that's his maintenance. We've disguised our pump vault here on the side, put in some aquatic plants on either side. All the gravel, all the edges are done here. Now we're looking into the pond. You can see our clean out pump is already in here. We are ready to rinse this baby down, but just follow along and see as we go up this waterfall. This is gonna be awesome. This right here is the final spillway. So as that water behind there pools up, it's gonna ride down this little angled rock here, crash into this, and then also spill straight down right above our fish cave here. <laughs> We have got the pond filled and we have done a little bit of a test run. 
Water's still a little murky. We rinsed this thing and rinsed and rinsed and rinsed it, but there's still a little bit of sediment that is going to be suspended in the water for the first 24 hours or so. But as it runs through the intake bay and then up through the pads and the skimmer, all of this stuff is gonna start to settle out. We've also added in a water clarifier, which is a flocculant, and that basically binds to the particles, kind of weighs them down and causes them to sink a little bit faster. So within the next day, this will be almost crystal clear, still a little cloudy, but we cannot wait for this guy to come home and reveal his new waterfall and pond. What do you think? I think it came together awesome. Boulevard did an amazing job on the pond, which he basically did himself and the waterfall. He's just a workhorse and he doesn't ask for much, but he does an amazing job. I would agree 100% with that. You can't stop this guy. He's, he's an animal. It's like, a, it's like a snowball rolling down a hill. You just can't stop the guy. Can't stop this guy. Mm -mm. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> so over here, we are still topping it off. There's just a little bit of water left in our holding tank. We've got to bring the water level in this up several more inches. But look at this interactive stone that Anthony set right at the pond's edge. When the water is full and clear, you're going to be standing directly above about a foot of water down to the first shelf. This is going to be a really cool rock. Once the fish are acclimated to his pond and he starts feeding them, this will be a spot he could slowly just hand feed the fish. They will come into this little cavern on the side here, nibble up that food, and then swim away and do whatever fish do in their pond. But this, this thing is truly a work of art. Baby, baby. 